Roosevelt Island because I just met up with a dog sitter that is going to sit Pika, my dog, while we're on our next trip coming up in a few weeks. He usually has a regular dog sitter, but she's not available um, this, these upcoming next few months, so we had to find a new one, and she's good. I really liked her, so yeah, we're gonna use her, and she's gonna watch Pika for 11 nights in September. And this is Pika's first time on Roosevelt Island. If you didn't know, Roosevelt Island is like this tiny sliver of an island in between Brooklyn, or in between, sorry, Queens and Manhattan. And you can get here via the subway or tram. And it is so beautiful. You can see a really, really pretty skyline of Manhattan. I've always wondered what it'll be like to live here because it just seems so calm and peaceful. The only downside is that there's not a lot of action so I wouldn't have access to like the restaurants and the cafes that I do now. But yeah, today's Friday and thankfully I actually have it off so I have a three day weekend. We're about to call an Uber and head back into the city because Pika is straight up pooped. So. on this seat we're half outdoors half indoors and we are sitting right on the sidewalk where we can people watch which is my favorite thing to do in the world and we're on St. Mark's which is a really lively street here in the East Village so there's lots to see and people to spy on actually just went to the bodega to get some bacon egg and cheese and just some drinks because we are doing something different today I'm taking my dog Pika to Central Park for the very first time I'm wearing this tube top so I am not uh, naked although it may look like it from up here but yeah we're taking him to Central Park to celebrate his uh, ninth birthday he turned ninth on August 8th this year and usually we would do like some kind of a getaway trip to somewhere nearby and it was a lot easier when we were living in California obviously because we could just drive but no we're gonna take an uber and go to Central Park and we're gonna have a little picnic just like a little brunch picnic with him and then maybe walk him through the park and the weather today is really nice it's just a little hot we've also never done a picnic in Central Park before me and Andrew so yeah, this is gonna be first for all of us and it's gonna be really fun and relaxing. So let's go. We are all set up now for our picnic. It was kind of a trek to get here because Pika is very anxious on Uber rides. So he just gets very like hyped up and then we had to walk all the way here. So we had to take a lot of breaks, but we are here. There he is. He's alive. So we brought to our little picnic. We are again in Central Park. So we went to A. Hey, hey, Munchkin. Hey. Should we get it? We got some bacon egg and cheese, like I said. And I got some orange juice and coffee. And we're gonna enjoy that here now. Some picnic essentials too are water. Got this big one for me and Pika. 
and this little mini fan for the summer. This is also for Pika mainly. And me. And then I also brought some fruit. So I cut up some Korean melon and some dragon fruit. So we're gonna enjoy this now while we look out at the view. Let me show the view real quick and what it looks like. So we are actually overlooking Sheep Meadows. Sheep Meadows is this really popular picnic area here in Central Park, um, but dogs are not allowed there. So we are sitting kind of like outside of it and it's such a pretty view. Yeah. And JLo used to own a penthouse in this building, by the way, with A-Rod back in those days. You know how the girl moves on quick. Also, I got this picnic like beach bag from Oaxaca. And it's super cute. I love the colors. Dissidents. All who's left around you. Can't be the chief without a VP. Resonance. Super relaxing so far. We finished our breakfast. I'm really full, but I am about to dive into this banana cream pie that I got from this bakery near us. It, oh, good gosh, so pretty and delicious. And I've had it before. This French bakery or French French dessert shop nearby, pastry shop. And it's a banana cream pie. Look at it. It's super flaky on the outside and it's so creamy on the inside. But anyways. We are just relaxing and Pika's a lot more cooled down now and it's been lovely. I am currently going through some comments that I got on my recent Colombia videos, which if you haven't watched any of my Colombian vlogs yet, please do. It's a great country and I had so much fun there and there was so much to learn. But thanks for everyone who's commented on my videos and has um, given good feedback and those who have left positive comments, those all mean a lot. Dissidents, all who's left around you can't be the chief without a VP. Resonance, bounce a couple words on. Oh, hot. Our favorite boba place. Oh god, there's like a guy sleeping in front of me. This car. I just don't get why you do that. Mm, I didn't get any boba. Drink it. Mm. So creamy and delicious. Lazy Sundays. I think it's only in New York City, but it really is one of our favorite boba places. And because the oat milk is free and they use oatly, which is amazing. Dinner is served. I made some lemon parmesan uh, garlic butter pasta, al limon pasta, and I made two servings. They're kind of big because I always overestimate the amount of pasta I actually cook because I feel like it's not enough. And this happens every single time without fail that I make too much. And I also made some homemade garlic bread. This is my very first time making it. It looks okay. I used the air fryer and it's really easy. It's just uh, some Bread, fresh sliced rustic bread with garlic, parmesan, cheese, butter, parsley, and then you just spread it on top. Lastly, just wanted to talk about this amazing natural wine that I tried recently called Terra Ambera, and it's from Greece, and it is amazing. The grapes were grown in volcanic soil, and this tastes so good. It kind of has like this different this different taste to it. I'm really bad at explaining wine, but yeah, it is amazing and it's so refreshing and it's gonna go so well with this. But this bottle is so good that I wanna get it again even because it's just, there's something so special about it. We are winding down now on this lovely Saturday night on 
the couch and we're gonna spend some family time. Um, and me and Andrew recently started a new K-drama called Extraordinary Attorney Wu, and it's been really popular, so I think a lot of people have watched it. It's so good so far. We're on episode five? So five. If you like law, or if you're wanting to become a lawyer, or... You know what? No. This is for everybody. It doesn't even matter. It's just, it's just a really, really good feel good series and you learn so much and there's so many like touching moments anyways i'm going to finish up my wine and i'm having a little dessert some dark chocolate uh pretzels i got this from target a long time ago and oh my god actually it's not even open wow okay it's not even open i thought this was open i think i got this as a plain snack for columbia and i just never opened it pika is very very tired we had a really long day and yeah that's it we're going to enjoy episode five of extraordinary attorney Wu. good night chain and it's really really good value it's like a little bit pricey but they have unlimited appetizers and desserts so we're gonna head all the way over to flushing and i'm gonna be wearing my bag that i kind of just have never worn after i got it but it's from oaxaca and it's this really cute woven bag in this really beautiful color and i'm gonna wear it with this all black dress i feel like it's a really cute pop of color So 
a lot of lotus root. Nothing is more important than hydrating yourself after a long hot pot meal because of all that sodium. Taking the little booger on a walk. Oh, he has been stubborn. Extremely, extremely stubborn. Fun. official spread for watching more of Extraordinary Attorney Wu on Netflix. We've got these Peking duck wraps from Flushing that we got earlier after Hot Pot. They look so good. We're not like super hungry, so that's why we're kind of eating this as a snack. And then we were at Target earlier, we are just running some errands, and I got this little tiny charcuterie board with olives because I've been kind of craving olives. Then I got this sweet and sour twin snake gummies. I already went ham into this and it's so good. And then I'm trying this new wine that I thought was natural wine, but it kind of doesn't look like it. But it's gonna be good nonetheless, I'm sure. And there it is, Extraordinary Attorney Woo. Pico's over here just <laughs> hibernating for the night already. All right, good night.